My second case is Shirley, a 21-year-old female with autism and intellectual disability, newly diagnosed with systemic lupus erythematosus, which I will refer to as lupus from now on. And this was based on her manifestations of facial rash, hair loss, diarrhea, leg swelling, um, likely uh, contributed to by lupus affecting her kidneys and potentially her gut. Uh, unable to have meaningful conversation, but able to obey simple commands, um, she knows her name. And because of her self-harming behavior, she was on various psychotropic drugs. Her past medical history is significant for obesity and insulin resistance. Unfortunately, due to the psychotropic drugs, she had gained a lot of weight. So she was also being seen by an endocrinologist who was treating her with medications for the insulin resistance. So she does not have frank diabetes mellitus, um, but we need to watch out for that. So all her treatments were in the outpatient clinic. And her mum, who's a teacher and single parent, uh, was supported by one full-time helper. And she has an older sibling, age 24. So this was her blood work, uh, which prompted admission. Um, so because of worsening renal function and very marked protein leak from the kidneys, uh, it was felt that this needed to be evaluated and treated. She had a kidney ultrasound, which had to be done under moderate sedation because she was not uh, cooperative. Uh, fortunately, this was normal. And the rheumatology team, which was the primary team, uh, wanted to refer her to the uh, nephrologist and start treatment for active lupus nephritis. However, her mother says, I want you to start treatment immediately. There's no need to refer because I don't want her to go through a kidney biopsy under general anesthesia. That's just too much for her to handle. So how will you approach mom's request? And what is in Shirley's best interest? So under ethical considerations, we need to consider, does she have mental capacity? Unlikely, right? Um, does she have autonomy? No. Um, we also know that she cannot tolerate an intravenous cannula in situ. And mom's already made it very clear. She only wants oral medications. Although she's well aware that oral drugs may not be as effective as intravenous options. So you as the treating doctor, will you start empiric treatment for lupus nephritis in the absence of a kidney biopsy? So what are the pros and cons as you um, debate uh, with your team members, what is in her best interest? Would you favor a particular drug, for example, intravenous cyclophosphamide, which is the gold standard, or would you use um, oral mycophenolate? Uh, for treatment, although you know that this may work um, far slower and may not be, may, may not be efficacious. Uh, additionally, do you need to bring in the second opinion in order to bolster your confidence with the diagnosis and management? And then her mum tells you um, that she's concerned that the steroids will tip her over into diabetes and sort of says, I want this to be avoided at all costs. How will you respond? Um, will you say that you can manage this and institute treatment if the sugars uh, become very high or will you just accede to her request? 